What's happening guys, it's Talking Sasquatch, and I'm back here today to show you some cool stuff on Flipper Zero. So, people keep buying these Wi-Fi boards and they're asking, what can they do with them? They just add them to the cart and they're like, yeah, let's just buy some more stuff, whatever. So, you've got this board, no idea what to do with it? Well, guess what? Today, I'm going to show you how. Thanks. Alright, cool. So, we're on the latest release firmware, of the official firmware, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our card and just jam it into the top of Flipper. Boom. And what we're going to do is actually we're going to restart it. So, we're going to press the back and the left button. The, uh, the Wi-Fi board can actually unmount the SD card, um, and giving us issues. So, right now, it's running, or the Wi-Fi board is running Black Magic, which allows for some some debugging and you can actually update the firmware wirelessly and it's going to load up a network called black magic which okay there it is boom so you can see that there i'm not going to show you how to use all that stuff because you can learn how to use the official unhacked stuff on your wet or on your own i don't really care about it so guess what we're going to be doing the flash over to marauder because that's a lot more fun Again, as usual, we're making our way over to Uber Guido's repo. He's got everything. So, we're going to go down to Wi-Fi dev board. We're going to click on the Flipper Zero Marauder Flasher. And we're going to go ahead and download that. So, bah, 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 download. Extract all. Extract. So, I'm going to unplug the Wi-Fi dev board. And then I'm going to plug the board into my USB cable. But there's one thing we got to do, so let me show you that. All right, so we're gonna grab our Wi-Fi board and we're gonna take a real close look at it. So you can see if this ever wants to focus. Let's do the old, hey, there we go. There is a reset and a boot button on there. So we're gonna hold the boot button while we plug in the USB. As so, here's my cable. So this is gonna be impossible to show. Do do holding boot button, boom. Plugging in, bam. All right, cool, that's it. So now we're plugged in, and now we can update our firmware with uh, UberScript. And we're back here. All we're going to do is run the flash.bat. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. It's fine. All right. So you have different options on here. Flash Marauder, Update Marauder, and you can you can save the old Wi-Fi settings. You can flash back to Black Magic if you want to, but no one does. So we're going to flash Marauder. It's Right now it's got version 9.18 installed. We're going to click 1. Bam, enter, and it's going to go ahead and do that. So it's using the ESP tool to, to download and install. It's flashing, firmware erase, preparing to write. It's going to wait, wait, wait. A few moments later. All right, now we're all done. Board should be flashed already. Cool, we're good to go. So next thing we're going to want to do is go back. We're going to go up to the applications. We're, again, I said it before, we're on the stable version of official. We're going to go to GPIO. We want the ESP32 Marauder file. So we're going to go ahead and download this guy. And eh, we'll throw it in the downloads folder. That works for me. And we're going to move that over to the flipper. So we have our downloads folder here. I'm going to disconnect the um, my USB from the Wi-Fi board, plug it back into the flipper. And we've got QFlipper. I can close this, go back into here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the SD card, apps, GPIO. And then we're going to move this ESP32 uh, Wi-Fi Marauder into here. So now we've basically installed Marauder into, into our firmware. Super easy. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Wi-Fi dev board again. And bam. Cool, cool. Go back here, and we're going to restart Flipper one more time just to make sure everything's happy. Cool. So now I'm going to show you how Marauder works. Now we get to use the program here. So we're going to go to Applications. We're going to go to GPIO and ESP32 Marauder, Wi-Fi Marauder. And we're going to click on Scan Access Points. It's going to populate a list of our access points. It's going to clear the list if you already have access points on here, and it's going to re then repopulate that list. It's going to search through all of the wireless access points it can find. If you did something wrong with flashing Marauder, 
this part wouldn't work so you'd know you'd have to go back and then you know redo everything it's going to go through and search everything and it's going to populate a list i think we're in good shape here let's go back so let's go to list because it's going to show us all the access points it's found here we go. And we're gonna use my access point, which is called the Burrow, and we're gonna see if we can mess with it. Um, you can see there's two different versions of it. I run a mesh network, so I've got a 5G and a 2.4G. We're attacking a 2.4G network right now. Based off of where the access points are, I'm gonna actually guess that my 2.4G is gonna be number four on this list. If it's not and this doesn't work, obviously I can just change it. So now we know number four is what you want. We're gonna go to select. And this is the confusing part that everybody doesn't get. We're just going to enter the number four. That was from the list from before. Don't change anything else. Just do number four. Going to go to save. It's going to show this. We're going to press the back button exactly twice. And now we're good. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to do a deauth attack. So people ask me all the time, what is a deauth attack? So it's not going to do anything to the Wi-Fi itself. It's not going to jam anything. It's not doing anything except for very uh, politely asking your devices to get off my network and it will boot things off the network. So that's what a deauth does. It's specifically going to target things that are 2.4 gigahertz because that's what this chipset can do. It's an ESP32 S2 rover and that doesn't have any 5G capabilities. But if all works well, this should work so I can kind of give you a good example of exactly what this will do. Okay, so what you can see right here is actually my Ring security camera. You can see there's cars driving by and you can see in the bottom corner here there's my my Christmas lights are flashing away so you can kind of see obviously this is a live camera setup. So we're going to just go ahead and click the D off button and that will disable my camera. So you'll notice immediately the lights stop flashing, nothing is moving on this anymore. So this camera is dead and it will stay dead until I stop doing this D off attack on it. So you can see how powerful this actually is. If I run stop, so again, you can see nothing's moving, lights are off, it's it's not there. Furthermore, this will just disable this, um, we'll say it's just disconnected, so yeah, not good. Yep, now it's trying to reconnect live view, and it's not going to be able to. So it's still running a deauth attack. So let's see what happens when you go back. Let's see if it'll fix itself. So back. So now we're no longer doing the uh, the deauth attack. So hopefully my camera comes back online. It might take a few minutes. So uh, let's see what happens. All right. So it says reconnect. Let's see if we can reconnect. Up. Oh, now it's back. So as soon as I stop running the the deauth command, um, it it works again. All right. So I was running into some issues trying to run the uh, Rickroll on the official firmware. So I actually popped over to Rogue Master. This is my custom install, um, and we're gonna we're gonna do it on here just because I I know it works. So yeah, enjoy my little Rogue Master custom animation. I made that one. So yeah. Um, let's see. Let's go to Applications GPIO. You can see we've got more apps on there now because again it's Rogue Master. Uh, Wi-Fi Marauder, and let's go back down to our Rickroll shebang. So now that's running, and if we go and look at our Wi-Fi, that's going to start populating. It's going to start popping up uh, lyrics to the famous Rick Astley song. That yep, here we go. We're down here. So never gonna get you. Do, 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 do. I'm not gonna copyright strike myself with my amazing singing. That's how that works. It's pretty damn cool. There's also some really cool stuff you can do with an SD card if you uh, modify the board slightly, but that's how you get going with Marauder. It's a really, really cool application and it actually does a lot more than you realize because if you've seen any of my other builds, they're all running the exact same firmware. So this card technically could output video. Um, it's something I want to try to figure out there's no real wiring schematic for it, and I'm not 100% sure it's possible, but if it is, I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, that's your quick once-over on how to install and use Marauder. There is, obviously, Just Call Me Coco uh, is the developer of that, so there we go. And we're going to go down over to his, uh, his GitHub real quick, because obviously, got to give a shout. So this is the FAQ for it. So it actually shows you all the command line stuff. You can actually hook this directly up to your phone. It has a lot more features from that perspective um, when it is on the phone. But again, for the sake of this video, I'm just using the, uh, the Flipper application because that's what everybody seems to be asking about. That's the easiest way to do everything. It's, that shows you how to use it. That shows you the capability of how it can actually access and disable cameras 
or really anything that's on a 2.4 gigahertz network, it's it's pretty powerful. Definitely make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel as fast as we can so we can keep making better and better content for you. Leave a comment. What do you want to see next? And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.